We call this lug nuts. Just show me your ex. You know that's what I want to say. Hang on, can we trust this? This is Fox News. No OJ, though. No OJ. Yeah, no, no. The Broncos are getting very popular. Less murdery. Well, it's just a gigantic automotive gangbang. <laughs> Rolling out more penalties. We're going live right now. All right. We are on podcast number 83 of the Purge Angers and Wall Hangers Media Network. I, of course, am Matthew Bugrell, the Matt Man, and to my left is Stephen Bugrell, Big Brother. He had a big idea to do a podcast, and we call this Lug Nuts. Oh, Welcome, shit. folks. We've got a lot of stuff for you. 32 cars you don't want to avoid, a surprise called Vision. We have something about Steve McQueen. He's been dead for a while, I think, and he's still making the news. We have an ultra-rare Chevy Corvette. Cars that you're going to want to collect because they're going to be valuable. We have Dodge News, a bunch of uh, whoops concept. <laughs> I had it on Triforce. Now we're on lug nuts. So, okay. Yeah, we're, we're lug nuts, not Triforce. Sorry. <clears throat> By the way. Hi. A bunch of concept cars. Yeah. Uh, Subaru has something special to tell us. Along with the uh, couple recalls. Excellent, excellent, right. man. Uh, we'll head on over to the first story. You can yeah, catch so us here at pajangersandwallhangers.com. Yeah, pjnwh.com. You can go ahead and click about us and find absolutely every single one of us. You can find Big Brother, me, uh, Old Man, Twitchy Wilson, Teddy Schools. we got to get Matt Kennedy up there. But, yeah, you can find us. You can actually contact us. And if you have want to be part of the Purge Angers and Wall Hangers Love Balloon, like you've seen, I'm sure, the Black Opinionated Podcast with Matthew Kennedy. He's really heavy into the big love balloon there. He's just pumping out, you know, a podcast. Okay. Yeah, but if you want to be part of it right there, contact us. And then we go into the first story, which was a surprise for everyone. Yes. Sony is creating an electric car. Nobody called can... Vision S from Marvel. I don't. I don't think they did like. Do you get an Infinity Stone? Oh man, that'd be so you worth it. You can buy them on Amazon. Don't expect them to change the universe for you. Well, I mean, then no. It is meant to be. They are. They are going to make it a self-driving car as okay. much as they are. It has a 3D grasp of reality. They gave us no other specifications. But I This mean, vision car you see here on screen, and uh, you go to the other pictures, is meant to be a reference for their other cars. Go. Now that is an interesting car. It's very uh, futuristic. It is, but I mean, it's very... You have the whole screen across the dashboard. You have the personalized the screens in the back for the screens kids. in the back are normal. You know, reg I'm but assuming that the, uh, that that's a cup holder. That's that right there. I hope. I hope. I hope it has cup holders. Not that I'm going to buy one. I have. But I got to go up to that post. It's, that's it's not, not bad. Not, it it kind of looks a little French. A little bit. You know, like how all those French cars kind of got that weird. Yeah. Look like someone. They have the weird front end. Link, they're not coming, buddy. It's just us, dude. Come here. Come on, the people miss you. So this is a special announcement from Link, Kelly, Chris. Link yeah, he's, misses he, you. He's waiting for you. <laughs> so if you guys just want to come over and uh... so, I think it looks good. I it I doesn't love it, man. it doesn't look horrible. It looks very well measured. I mean, especially that's something that you don't really you don't really think you're gonna want from Sony, but they they do cameras and they do speakers, they, so they are familiar with you know doing. And they put out parts. games with uh, artificial intelligence, is a big thing uh, in games. So. Gran Turismo and all that, all sorts Sony. of stuff. Granted, their games are. <laughs> I mean, the rims. I I like those. They're rims. not bad. You know, especially the red. It is a silver car. Brakes. Guarantee you those are Brembo brakes. For those of you playing the home game, it is a silver car with a little bit of a sloped front, four doors. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the backside look like? Um, if we go down, does they show the backside if you scroll down? There you go. You got a nice Kind of bit of a uh, new age curvy backside. It's not bad. Lights, you know? Yeah. 
and it very much kind it's of, it's it's very stylish. You're not really seeing. Or there's the headrest, which you really care about. But they the still seats. Don't it has it. seats. Four the, of them. The headrest with the t- with the and then the personalized climate control in the back. Really kind I of like standard that. looking for back seat, but front seat very standard. They very have a color. clock. Just yeah. in the very lower set. I don't know if it shows up on screen. No. If you go higher, oh yeah, 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 it's right behind there. your head there. Right there, you can see in the top uh, portion. Eh, right there. Yeah, there's a clock. It's got a little clock. It it, it doesn't look like a bad car. I they can see are it. Afraid depends to show on you how ass. they'll price it. Look at this. Thirty five fucking pictures, and they are afraid to show you their ass. It's like a college. <laughs> like what the hell? Just show me your ass. You know that's what I want to see with the car. I want to see your ass, but you're not showing me. You're mm-hmm. showing me the side view. It's like it's fucking Instagram or something. It looks like it is. it's going to have a lot are of... They, are they shy because of the fucking You know what? Lights? It looks like it could be a uh, hatchback. They could do it in the form of a hatchback where you could have extra storage space back there. Yeah. It looks like it's got a really big trunk. But probably our next story, we have Steve McQueen news. Ooh, Steve McQueen. I'm fairly certain he has been dead. Uh, probably, I would imagine. For some time now. Yeah. Steve McQueen's long-lost Mustang from the movie Bullet has been found and sold for $3.4 million. Okay. It was sold in Kissimmee, Florida at the Kissimmee Auction. It's a 1968 Mustang. GT309 stunt car. A nice picture of the rear end. Most famous for the San Francisco Chase. It was originally bought for $3,500. That is quite a bit of appreciation. But it probably went for that much because the guy in the photo there, Steve McQueen, is driving it. Yeah, very infamous. Let's see, uh, with the, uh, other pictures. Uh, saves me about oh, three God, hours no. Oh, God, oh, God, no. Do some crane kicks. Fuck your ad. No, Bill O'Reilly, we don't want you. <laughs> you can Nobody have, wants you, Bill O'Reilly. On a car podcast, no. So, here we go. This is a nice picture. Yeah, the owner's name was not disclosed, obviously, because he'd like the car to stay in his garage. Yeah. They have the new Mustang behind it. It was probably a uh, uh, to push the new Mustang. Yeah. That's a really big windshield on the new Mustang. Yeah. We, I think we... But it is a classic look. When they brought the uh, Mustang, saved it from the 80s and the yeah. 90s, yeah, the they sort of yeah. started to go for that sort of classic look. Yeah. And now you have you still have an infamous look with the Mustang. Oh yeah, it's really good. With that front Sleek. grill, as long as you kind of because it's almost like they mm-hmm. said, you know what what made oh, Mustang? Yeah. yeah. That gigantic grill, nice headlights. The look all together. It's it's it's, it's a great look. It's it's very much stayed and it looks like, like that. those tires don't have a lot of tread left on them. They're going to need new tires. I imagine that they probably know about that. Okay. Well, the next is story is an ultra rare. I think that's just the guy who drove it, not the guy who uh, from um, the auction. Who? Yeah. Ultra rare. An four- ultra rare four door Corvette. Mm. This is one of four. Hang on. Can we trust this? This is Fox News. Uh, but it says from the NBC NBS Auto Show. Okay, so we can trust it. Okay. So it is okay. it is trustable. It's corroborated. <clears throat> if you would like one yourself, it was created 40 years as a concept. They created four of them. If you go down, it shows the T-top roof for all four pet people available for the use of all. If you just scroll down. Oh, sorry. I was looking at other Issues. There we go. There it is. It's another four door. Wow, it's, that's long. Those are big front doors. It's a bright. This one is bright orange. It looks like we get paid twice this is fast. With could you do something about this sound? No, I'm beyond Yeah, we can. Hang on. All right. It is bright orange. It's like when you took that uh, silly putty and you put it on the newspaper and you stretched it out in the door section, that's what it looks like. It's probably okay. got a pretty beefy engine under there. But, uh, you, you scroll down. 
working through technical uh, difficulties here. There we go. The backside wow. looks See, like a They're not Corvette. afraid to show you their ass. Looks like a Corvette. Yes. It looks like a Corvette from there. If you go down even more, there should be... Because the Corvette the is the one, or is it the Corvette or the Fiber that had that had that one year where they had the line right down the middle? It was the body line. Go that faster the, stripes. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No. yeah. There you go. That looks pretty good for that, the era. That's pretty. It looks the seats looked concept car like, like you weren't meant to sit in them. Yeah, I mean, they if you'd like to add this to your collection, you can find one for as low. Is eight hundred thousand mm. dollars up to this the top end one which they searched uh, two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. Wow! If you've got that type of extra money, feel free and give me some. You know, <laughs> but I mean, even still, for it's this got a three hundred and fifty like, inch cubic V eight. I think this kind it's of said classic right car though. It is. Right? It's if it's your thing. It reminds me of what was the. Uh, uh, was it Motley Crue uh, video where they had that it, that stretch limo Corvette? Yeah. <laughs> you know? It, it kind of looks like that, except with one set of doors behind the, the driver. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's a little bit long, especially trying to find a parking space for that. Oh, yeah. Good luck parking that in, like, New York or even, like, in here, like out front. You know what? It's probably not bigger than a uh, one of those SUVs. Out front of the Perch Angers Cave if you try to park, like, street parking. Because that, backs that backside is, a, is shorter than the uh, bed in a Suburban, you know, behind the passenger compartments. Okay. It can't possibly be much bigger than that. I would imagine not. And if there uh, are four in the world and you can find them, you could get one. And cash out. All right. Next, we have the top selling collectible cars list. The Dodge, the one that says Dodge. Uh, oh, shit. Come here, thing. Come on. I got a bone for you. I was searching Dodge. I got a bone to pick with you. I mean, he's pretty convinced that uh, he is. He's looking for Kelly. Which and Chris, yes. I've heard a rumor that we may actually see Kelly. That would be nice to see him. He may so we have a list here of these cars. These are cars that are becoming rather collectible. Ooh, the very first car R. is a Type R. If you go down, they should oh, have the uh, man, year. That is a sexy car. I love 97, 98, 2000, and 2001 only. Yeah, man. Troy has been known uh, from another person in the industry that I know. He called Troy the act, uh, the Integra Killer. It says here uh, ahead <laughs> of us, prices are up twenty one percent from last year. I would imagine that's just because of one at auction shipped for sixty three thousand dollars. Yeah, I would imagine that price went up just because of Troy, because uh, he has killed a bunch of them. But he. <laughs> The type he's never had a Type R, but the Type R is one of those niche cars. That if you have one, you know what you have. There's a Type R that comes into yeah, work. Yeah, go back up to the picture. Yeah, me. there's a Type R that comes into work, and it is yellow, and it's just so. Is it that one? Is it from New York with license plate? I uh, can't read it. Uh, no. Uh, go down to the next car. So pick up a hack Acura Ooh. Type R. There you go. I think this is the BMW. Oh, this is the M Roadster, ninety-eight to two thousand two. Okay. Let's look at the spec. It's not a bad. It is a blue convertible in the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, Three hundred and fifteen uh, horsepower with an S fifty-four engine. This is the two thousand one? They also three liter inline six. The Z3 and installed the 240 horsepower S52 3 liter inline six motor. The M Gang also pulled plenty of parts from the E36 3 series at the time. So this it's is kind of funny because it was in response to the Mazda Miata. It was, and you, you know what? Too Both can, of them kind of look alike. Yeah. Well, they're going for that same uh, uh, British. Hot hatch. Yeah, Roadster. Uh, yeah. British, uh, not hot hatch, co uh, convertible, Roadster. Yeah. But they want it to work. You can get one for about $30,000. Next, we have the Viper. Okay. The 96 to 2002 Viper. They're no longer making them anymore. I would imagine no. Uh, it's 
probably very expensive. This one is blue with white go faster stripes. Uh, 8 liter V10. Yeah, 400 to 450 horsepower. Wow, that, that price is actually surprising. A, yeah. You can get one for $66,000. I would have expected more. Yeah, I mean, but American car. Prices, oh, okay. From 48. From 40,000. Yeah, 48,700 to 55,900. Maintenance. 97 Viper GTS. Which maintenance is probably going to be very expensive. So it went down a bit in price from when it was new. It was sixty six, but now you're looking about forty eight to fifty five. That's not bad retention for the car, though. Especially because they're not making them anymore. Yeah, uh, I, I, I did pick this list because some of the cars are obtainable, obtainable to normal people. A Ducati. Next, we have a Ducati nine one six ninety four to ninety eight. That's not a actually. Car. There's a reasonable car down there on the list. If you like motorcycles, it's got uh, two wheels and the one in the picture is red. Next. Nice. <laughs> you can get one for $10,000. Next, okay. this looks like a Ferrari 306, 360, not 306. 360. Yeah. Ferrari 360, 1999 to 2005. And like all Ferraris, they're probably all very collectible. I mean, Ferrari it is a Ferrari. It has a V8, 3.6 liter engine, 400 horsepower, 275 pounds of torque. You can get one for about eighty-five thousand mm. dollars. Ninety if you're going to get a really good one. Th this one is within the grasp of almost everyone. These things yeah. were everywhere Every, back in the day. They were huge, really awesome. Huge cult following around the CRXs, especially the SIs. I've known a guy who him and his father both drive CRXs uh -huh. and they're both red ones. Red is a very popular color for this. Now another problem with the CRXs is that they have the infamous early nineties uh, Honda rust problem. Mm. Where you can almost hear them rust. It is... Uh, you Maybe know. that's why they're so collectible. For those of you who are at the home, playing the home game that are screaming at us, say the name of the car. It's a Honda CRX SI. It weighs 1,900 pounds. Wow, yeah, that's light. Very light. Very 91 light. horsepower introduced in 1985 with a 4.5. That's why you could take advantage of that. 1.5 liter inline 4. Yeah. That's wow, why you inline take, 4. You got wow. the inline 4. You got the 1.5, which seems underpowered, but you only have to push 1,900 pounds. Especially with how light it is, it's a very, very nice gearbox with the 5 speed. It's extremely niche market, but it's Here a very, go. very nice car. The second generation in 1988 now arrived. A classic with car for drifting as well. Advanced really corner, hard. unequal length control arm sub suspension with yeah. 105 horsepower, and they went up to a 1.6 liter this, inline four. This, this car you too very... can pick one up at the top of the line. For fifteen hundred. Yeah, this car was very popular with drifting because it was a rear wheel drive car, and it was a, the one point five liter with the rear with the rear wheel drive really made it very easy to drift this car, whip it around where you want it. It's very very. You know, if you're looking to get a, a car and you want to impress a few, if you want car guys to notice, pick yourself Ooh. one up for about fifteen grand. If you want to impress somebody, you're not going to be looking at an International Harvest Scout. It looks a lot like one of those early uh, Range Land Rovers or yeah. Range Rovers. It looks Land like something Range that James Rover. May would drive. This looks like Richard. No, Richard Hammond. He yeah, you think Richard? Yeah. We we constantly diverge on what they would. Drive. The uh, yeah, the collectible, but Richard does live in a castle. The collectible ones are 1971 to 1980. Mm. It's kind of like a Bronco. Yeah. No. You can idea. pick one up for thirty-two thousand dollars at the high end, and as low as twenty-five grand with V8 power. Yeah. No OJ though. No OJ. Yeah. No. No. The Broncos are getting very popular. Now. Less murdery. There's that guy that goes on. They went on Joe Rogan a while back. He yeah. uh, takes them and redoes all the Broncos with the best possible parts. I got to tell you, in this car, you're not murdering somebody. You're going on a camping trip. 
Yeah. In a yeah. Bronco? You're, you're going murdering. on a holiday. Yeah, you're murdering somebody in a Bronco. You're yeah. not murdering somebody in an International Harvest Scout. <laughs> The subject was driving an international an old... harvest scout. Why? He couldn't afford a fucking blazer or a Bronco? Like, oh, God, that poor guy. Or he knows his cars. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Next, we have a Jeep. A guy I used to work for had a Jeep. A 2001 Jeep Cherokee. Those cars, man. <laughs> man, he, they still run. Fantastic. Fantastic cars. That I remember uh, it wasn't a 2001. It was like a 90-something. Dad had the... Cherokee cab, it yeah. would get so cold. He had the Comanche. The co oh, the Comanche yeah, cab. The Comanche. Yeah, it had the air conditioner for this, the uh, full size SUV. Because why wouldn't you just <laughs> reuse the same parts, man? Like, yeah, trying to make something new. Just you put could that store one. raw meat in that cab. Oh, Look yeah. down and see how much someone it can buy a 2001 Jeep Cherokee. But those are good because they have four. The four wheel drive in Jeeps are just barn on the best. A low mileage one can fetch for more than twenty thousand dollars. And you're looking at a four liter inline six. Yeah, yeah, one hundred and ninety really horsepower, work on it. and which is really easy to work on an inline six as opposed to like a, v, a regular standard V six. Because with a V six, a part of that half of the cylinder is going to be facing the firewall, which is going to be harder to get to than yeah. the front half. So that's why stuff tends to be more labor intensive when you start to get to that back end. Oh, okay. with an inline six, it's all right there. Oh, okay. It's all right there. You can find one for as low as eight grand. Yeah. If you're into the SUVs, the price has gone up uh, three point three percent. We have another SUV, Ooh, Land Rover. These were really popular back. Uh, in the is day. that a Land Rover or a Range yeah. Rover? No, that is the Land Rover. Land Rover Range Rover, nineteen seventy to nineteen ninety five, to be more specific. Yeah. It is uh, generally the all purpose outdoor car. Very British. So careful when you buy. You can get one for, wow, $20,000? Four liter V8. Uh, 1995 version, you can get one from 20000 to 30000 which is really expensive. Yeah, it is. Uh, still but it is still. a classic car that will probably go up. It went up 1.8% since 2018. So it's only going up and okay. down. Okay. Okay. It's not to say current. And of oh. course, there had to be a Porsche. A Porsche 914, 1970 to 1976. That's a uh, that is a classic. That's a neat looking car. Yeah. How much can they get one for? A 914. You're looking. But then again, there's always that 911 market. Thirty two thousand dollars for a bottom of the line one. Two liter flat six. <laughs> 125 horsepower, 2 liter flat 6. Very popular. Because it's flat. They, uh, 1971, they only built 3,332. I think uh, they should have built one more. How, that, many, how many of those do you think them. somebody got taken out in an accident? Oh, But look how much it said it has increased. 30%. In that means a lot of them. Yeah. Wow! That means a lot of them got... 30% increase! Damn! A lot of them got knocked up then, but two liter flat four. All Buy these people. cars to make some money. Yeah, man. You may not make actual money. Legal disclaimer. And a Gulf. A Gulf. Oh, and it's not a Gulf. No, the Cordado. Cordado, 1990 Cordado. to 1995. Yeah. That the is a hot. That looks yeah. way better than the Gulf. Yeah. That is a sexy looking little car. Back around like the Mark uh, Five, Marks, uh, yeah. Around you the are going to be turning some heads in that little Golf. Yeah, nice front ends on Volkswagens, and it is the Golf Type R. One point eight yeah. liter inline four, again with inline four, one hundred and eighty five horsepower. Fifty eight. What? One hundred and fifty. Oh, I horsepower. transpose the numbers. Yeah. In nineteen ninety two, they bumped it up to one hundred and seventy eight with a two point eight liter. V6. Yeah, the VR6 was With a 15 a, degree cylinder spread. If you can get a, a anything VR6 with wow. Volkswagen, you're looking at a very, very good car. You can get one for eight grand. Wow. Yeah. That is really surprising. Yeah. How cheap. The v, v, for w, such a... Look, look, look back up at it again. Up, that is a hot looking little car. 100,000 were sold in the U.S. 100,000. So... Yeah. That's probably the numbers is why in the future I see this is way more collectible. 
What a beautiful car. Wait, no. For a hatchback. Yeah, there you go. You're part of the podcast. They need to see your beautiful car. <laughs> there you go. What do we got next? Uh, so I think that was it. Was that it? We will find out. Yeah, that yep, was that's it. it. So, next story. What? Junk they junk. recently found from a junkyard a 1947 Dodge Custom Sub- Sedan. Yeah. It was saved. It will be fully restored. It's a beautiful old car. I put that in because if you see an old car like this, uh, save it. I saw. Let's Ed- give a look at the inside. It's, I saw. They Ed- have- I saw Eddie drive this in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh yeah! Oh. They have a lot of historic... It's just this awesome little car. I'd love to turn that into like a hot rod. Oh, we got pictures. They have the VIN number, it looks like. They have photos of the inside. Oh, you can hit the... uh... Not a lot of rust. Link is still looking for uh, Chris and... uh... Kelly, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't quite under... He thinks the lights mean Chris and Kelly are coming. All right, Whew, that, so that there's some good. rust around the gas tank, but... Yeah, that's not where you want rust. It is. You know, if, if you are a, a classic car aficionado, this is the yeah, type of thing... Like that this guy is the his. type of thing that makes them hard. Like the guy on his... Man, account, look at that. Who used to take the uh, classic oil cars hands. and he would refurbish them and Oh, shit. yeah. He, he knew the Pawn Stars. Mm. Yeah. He'd be able to spruce this one right up. A whole hundred miles an hour! Not that it actually went that fast. No, you're probably looking at like 70, 80. And it looks like it has a uh, throttle. Oh, and an ejector throttle. seat button. No, it was a <laughs> throttle. I'm sorry. It's that head change, head oil. Yeah. Man, look at that radio. Oof. AM only, I'm assuming. And a lot of hey, hubcaps. It comes with the hubcap. So, hey, you got the hubcaps. And a pink girl's bicycle helmet. And that doesn't look like a good door. I, I think that's... That that's felt mm. a beautiful looking car. Nice, nice way, nice way, nice way to uh, open up the hood, though. Up next, we have a brand new look at what Honda has to show us. <sighs> okay, okay. this Honda. is what I will tell you is not the ugliest car we have. I'm ending on what I think is the ugliest car at the very end of the podcast. Stick around to hear our comments. The brand new 2020 Honda Civic R-Type. It'll have 306 horsepower turbo, 20-inch wheels, 2-liter engine, 4 cylinders, 295 torque, 6-speed manual available, 0 to 60 in 5.4 seconds. Yours, you can get one now, a 2019 version, for about $3,800. Okay. Okay. So I think there's, uh, you should say, see three photos. They'll have photos of, they don't, the back end, they don't It's quite, always a weird they back don't, end. They don't know when to stop the styling at Honda. Yeah. This is not as yeah. bad as they've been in the past. No, this is pretty good for a Honda R-Type. Yeah, but even still, I don't, I, I, I don't know about that back end. It's Three hundred and six like horsepower is uh, going to make this a favorite at your local track and only yeah. track. Yeah, but for to who? I, there are just, Honda people. It's just James like, May. That is the car that James May bought. Yeah, of course. He James did. May bought one of them. He loves Honda and he loves the Japanese, <sighs> as do we. I drive a Japanese car. Absolutely. He's on a Japanese car. Next, we have a great looking uh, concept car. Mm. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to call it great. There we go. There you go. There's white, the. Uh, white and blue. Uh, I, I, Honda makes a really great blue. Yeah. They make yep. a really It's a really blue nice color. blue. Really nice blue. And they'll probably paint it any color you want because it's Honda. And then. Hold on. Oh, uh, Honda. Oh, yeah, this one. I didn't write this down. I'm just going to talk about this. Uh, okay. Yeah, pull this one up. They have this brand new... Uh, Honda's going to go with this an augmented driving system. I thought the picture looked weird. Okay. But they have alternate destinations. There'll be more pictures down below. That chewing's going to come up on the audio. That sound is yeah. Link chewing his bone. 
those in case of you, you didn't know. playing the home game with our very slow internet. Yeah. That's a woman with the Honda's the concept car. That's the ugly uh, little concept car we saw. There we go. The uh, ugly. It looks Honda. like it's from an anime. They took it directly from Pokemon. No, that's not Pokemon. That's more. Uh, <laughs> That's something Disney, honestly. That looks like. But uh, if you go down far enough, you'll see they have alternate locations for like drinks and an amusement park. That looks like something straight out of Wally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See if it has. There you go. I'm not going to tarnish. Uh, go up to that that one there. This is their it's concept. The internet is very a little more. Yeah, the, the internet. Regular driving is just A yeah, to B. So they have a picture of a car going from A to B. If you have Waze, it already does the bottom one. They have alternate destinations listed out for augmented driving. You could also go to C, D, and also get coffee or sweets or a book or a friend. Or E, F and G. Uh, Honda, we have Waze. Thank you very much. I have Waze. They still need to get, and that's the thing, is whenever you get, like, apps involved with the cars, the apps update faster than the cars, and it's just, when you get stuff like Waze and, you know, CarPlay and stuff like that, there's just so many factors. All right, let's see what I have next. I can't wait. Me too. I thought I was going to the concept car. Type oh, out. this is the concept car. I was going to eliminate that because it was... It's kind of stupid. Yes, yeah. we have ways. Get ways. This is not a sponsorship, but I'll. The Acura Type S concept. Great. This is the new Acura concept. It looks. It looks like they took a TLX and they made it a coupe. They removed the door handles, uh, yeah. so they got. What did they say on it? It's lower and longer than the current TLX. Well, yeah, because the TLX is kind of high. Um, It'll as get opposed to the TL and the uh, yeah. Integra. So, yeah, it's longer and. Uh, I mean, I always love the. I love the what front. Acura does with the with the headlights and the and the grill. I love the honeycomb <laughs> grill and the nice big. Acura it looks like symbol. it could be two door. Yeah, it's coupe. Yeah, it's a two door coupe, and it's it reminds it's. God, I don't want them to call it the Integra. Just call it the Type S. Just give it a new name. Call it the, I don't know, MRX. No, no, the, no the, the specs. L LRX. Or no specs it. were released. Yeah. No, it's probably going to be a V6. Next story is gonna. also accurate. They're having a brand new RDX. Because that's probably going to be the, uh, probably the 3.2 6 liter uh, that we uh, have in a lot of our cars. Or what's in the NSX. Oh, oh yeah, the next one. This one. This is going to be a short story. <coughs> like Edgar Allan Poe. This is the new RDX. You just click on the picture. There's not a lot of information that I care about in here. Uh, it looks like exactly like an RDX. Yeah. The RDX SH. It'll be all-wheel drive, four cylinders, 272 horsepower, and it'll get 21 miles to the gallon. And it looks like an RDX. That's because it's an RDX. Okay, next story. It, this one is blue. For those of you playing the home game, it looks like an SUV, just like all the other SUVs, except the collectible ones we talked about. Okay. And then Subaru. Subaru didn't catch on from the Acura problem. Takata airbags are exploding, injuring people. Or is it the other story? Yeah. 2003 to 2014, Subarus are being recalled because it could shoot metal through the driver. Now, here's the thing. Takata is the company who has it's been... One, Takata is a third-party company that everybody uses. Everybody uses third-party companies because, hey, I make airbags. Cool, man. You got an airbag for me? Yeah, man. I got one that'll fit in your car. So everybody ends up buying Super. Takata airbags. So when they don't test their product... That's when you're Oh, look, get... they have a number. Owners can contact, Su contact Subaru Recall at 
1382. This is just for within the continental yeah, United States. Have your States. VIN number ready, and they'll look it up by your VIN and let you know if you're Or in, just go to a Subaru dealer near you. They'll and love don't to help you out. crash on the way. Now, it is VIN specific, so you may have to call up the Subaru I dealer should hope and get it ordered. I should hope that Subaru is doing what Acura did and giving people a little ringy ding. By the way, the car is going to kill Legally, you. you have to. Okay, well, expect a call. Or a letter. Letter. Singapore Auto Show is the next one. They have a is brand it? new Subaru Forester. And wait till you see the name. The brand new Subaru Forester is F. They're calling it the fuck. Yeah. Subaru the Forester Ultimate Custom Kit. So they're given the Subaru No one in Japan F5. thought we're just going to call it the fuck. <laughs> nah, man. Forester Unlimited Customized Kit Special Edition. That is. Oh, a, sir, which Forester do you have? I have the fuck. Oh, okay. Fuxy. <laughs> If you the add one. addition in there, then it's Foxy. Then it's, it kind of sounds like you're saying Foxy Lady. This next one is uh, where Troy got his name, Turbo Troy. They have a brand new STI coming out. Okay. It's probably going to look like another Evo, huh? This one is at the Tokyo Auto Show, not the Singapore it's Auto Show. It's looking pretty apparently. Evo already right there. Yeah, I think there's pictures below. There yeah. you go. It is a, they're going for the wagon yeah. look. No, 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 no. They'll have, no. They'll have electronic dampeners, a turbo 1.84, uh, 1.8 liter Flat four cylinder. That looks no like I other have to... numbers were given. Th that looks like I gotta go hop in the car and go grab some ice before the barbecue. That that no. that's kind of their market. Uh, go down. You should see the front. The front. I hope. The back. Mm. They're really showing off the wagon. Mm. Okay. They don't show the front. They love showing their ass. Okay. Subaru is all about the ass. But that looks like a mom mobile. View photos. Ugh. No, that's the name of the thing, but I don't think. Oh, no, there it is. Hey, there you go. And more of their ass. Nothing but ass here. Ten photos, and we have to now click on another link. There, there you go. go. It looks. God, that was a lot just to be disappointed by. It the has product. a little hood scoop. It's white. That looks, it looks like, like it's about to ask me where the ten rings of Shang Li are. It is a what they call a sleeper, is what I think they're going for. It looks Asian. Yeah. With a with an attitude problem. Aren't they aren't they owned by an Asian? They're Asian owned by everybody. Company? Okay. Well it's just a gigantic automotive gangbang. I added this because an STI is generally a uh, driver's car. It has a turbo and or they'll give you numbers a personal later. problem. Listen to a future podcast, and I'm sure I'll cover the actual numbers when it comes out. Next is kind of disappointing. We're talking about leaves. The Nissan Leaf, to be specific. They'll probably be they have a brand new Nissan Leaf. The photos do it as a lot of justice. This is their big announcement. It's going to have an 8-inch touchscreen. Right. It'll go for about thirty-two thousand dollars with one hundred and forty-nine miles of range. You can get one for about thirty-three thousand dollars for an order. extra sixty miles. I think for an extra yeah. to get up to two hundred miles is an extra six thousand dollars. Sixty-six hundred bucks just for five. Uh, <laughs> to get Sixty. Yeah. You're so, still better off just buying a Tesla. To get 226 <laughs> miles, still six grand. That's, you know, 150 miles. When I was at the supermarket the other day, I saw the guy with the electric Golf. That's about the same mileage that the Golf gets. Yeah. But you get to drive around in if a you Golf. Have short city driving, that kind of a car can really kind of benefit you. But honestly, I don't. You go back to the picture. I don't like the styling. You're still better off with Elon. 
I don't like the styling. No, you're still better off with Elon. It has an engine. That's the engine. Well, no, that's the the inverter and. Uh, All right, there's uh, an engine or something in there. Brake and battery. That's the um, part that makes it go. But even still, yeah, it looks like a Leaf. It's it's not it, it's not a good looking car. It's a Nissan. It, it's a very Nissan. Volkswagen that. makes a very nice looking car. I will say. I mean, Nissan is very pointy. You know, they're unless you get to the cube, then they're very. I don't know, Round I don't weird. know what they're thinking on that one. Round and weird. Somebody tripped. Next down. story, I'm, I'm sorry to say, is also electric. This story doesn't make this next story doesn't make any sense. When you take into account this story, this last story is on the 2020 Leaf. Yeah. This one is on their all new elect. They're calling it E Force 2021 all wheel drive electric. It'll have a zero to sixty time of one. Of uh, not one second, okay, right, zero to sixty time of five seconds. Uh, very I looks uh, SUV ish. Very iRobot. Big carish looking design. Uh, Almost like an Acura front grille, like I was saying. Here's the, the part, room. and then the uh, LED front. Here's headlights. the part that I think is interesting. The the 2020 Leaf will get 149 miles. This one will have a 300 mile range. So. Okay. I mean, if you're looking to go electric, I would wait till uh, two or three years down the road. You're still not as actual. impressive as Tesla, though, with the with the electric. Oh yeah, cars. no, they're they're very they're very. Impressive. Elon's still far ahead of all of them in range, and I mean, yeah, I could see electric vehicles being a very solid choice, especially with the amount of torque you get off of them. And it's he impressive. is also trying to put people on another planet. Next, we have another recall. And he had a very interesting uh, dance striptease on a Japanese uh, expo. Okay. Yeah. All uh, right. Next, Ford is recalling cars, 06 to 10. Ugh. The Fusion, Mercury, and Lincoln, the hydraulic system is broken. That's an there active, are active live stream picture of the actual... <laughs> Rolling out more you might Model want to go T's. Scroll down a little so they can see the hole. Uh, yeah, now the hydraulic system is broken and several people have been injured. What so if you do that? own an 06 to 2010 Fission, Mercury, Lincoln, or MKZ, get to the dealership now before you die. Even though they can't stop, I mean, it's not a very, that's a very nice front end. It's not the bad. It's going to be wrecked. It's not bad, I guess. They did say at least two people were injured so far. So far, no deaths, fortunately. Well, I mean, you know, you could always, you know, just toss up the e-brake. Pump, shake, rattle, rattle, shake, e -brake. <laughs> <laughs> You can always just, you know, just slowly pull up the e-brake and, I don't know, turn Next, we have a rock star is selling a car, and I wanted, I wanted to look at it. Travis Barker from Blink-182. This man is an amazing Live drummer. from TMZ. Yeah. Not live. Uh, this man is an amazing drummer, but he's his selling uh, his Cadillacs. He should get a lot of money off of it. Now that top one there, that is very small, or not uh, small, but Pleasantville. Oh yeah, they're both. They're very yeah. beautiful. They look like beautifully restored cars. Whoever gets them is gonna look at the shaved door handle. <laughs> it's yellow. It's not a convertible, but you know the bottom one is a convertible. It's blue. It's got white wall wheels. Or uh, something that looks like white wall wheels. Chip Foose has those rims that look like white wall wheels. So yeah. he's even got a Cadillac, Cadillac tattoo. tattoo. Check. Yeah. Uh, Oops. And there's some tits. That's yeah. TMZ. Yeah. Very, All right. Very now <laughs> you're going to have to brace yourself for this one. And glad you turned yeah. off the sound. Because the Prius is getting a new look. Oh, God. Are you ready? You're going to want to wash your eyes. I'm never ready. Holy shit! Look at that! Did they watch too much anime, too? Play that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make that full screen on that, motherfucker. Holy crud. I, you know what? It's not... The Priya, <clears throat> it looks like something out of a science fiction film. It's very, they got Honda to design it. Were they getting high with Elon? 
Look at the back of that. That looks Somebody like something was watching out of the Batman. S oh yeah, someone was high watching Batman in like, California. Like, like this is what we're gonna do. Like Adam West Batman. People always make fun yeah. of the Prius. I'll show them. You know, like I'm gonna make it look like wow. A Batmobile that back. back end. It's <laughs> got like this giant <coughs> fins are back. It has two fins with yeah. brake lights and a massive fin in the back, and it's got these it's almost bizarre diamond wheels. The fin goes, it's like someone took an index card it like, looks like this it's smiling. Look. and stuck it through the top. It has a mohawk. Yeah. They gave it a mohawk. Here's the thing. It looks very 1960s Batmobile, but oh. it's it's very much like a mohawk. It's future in the you front. You know what? I kind of like the front. It's it's an Except automotive lower section. It's an automotive mohawk. It's future in the front, 60s in the back. Business in the front, party in the back. Yeah. Future, 60s. Ooh. That's where they're going. Quickly ended here on some cars we can look at. Oh. So that's what you got with the new Prius, huh? Making it look like a Batman. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Shown at the Tokyo Auto Show. Oof, automotive mullets aside. That's going to sound amazing. Thank this you. is the first. Is, oh, yeah. This is the, the Yaris. Oh, I have forgot about this story. The Yaris is having a brand new car in 2020. They're competing with the car we were mentioning earlier. This will have 268 horsepower. Have you heard okay. that before? Yeah. Uh, it was shown at the Tokyo Auto Show. 1,200 pounds. 1,280 pounds. 1 1.6 liter turbo four-wheel drive. This car is a car that everybody's been sleeping on, is the Yaris. All right? It's it's not a horrible looking... It is a solid compared, car. Compared to that that last yeah. Prius, yeah. I'm glad I ended on this one. I was thinking when yeah. I did this. Look, it's a solid car. The Yaris, when I was when I started working for a Toyota as a mechanic, one of the you know experienced mechanics, he was like, look, if you're going to do yourself a favor, buy a Yaris. They last forever. They hmm. never need anything, and they're solid cars. It's a solid pickup car. does what you need it, and that's what it is. It's still a solid car. Now you put some effort into it. And you get something beautiful like this. So that's well, a good me that job in for 2013. Was my car. Mm -hmm. uh, now we'll go to the very first list. Uh, not Triforce. That's tomorrow. Thirty-two cars that you should avoid at all costs. Oh, look we out. have practical buying advice here on Lug Nuts. Yeah, man. This is the shit you don't want to buy no matter what. Acura RLX. Acura RLX. Yeah. That's very true. It's rated a 59, according to this website, which is, that's not an RLX. That's not an RLX. That's, that's an not an RLX. That's, 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 that's an NSX. Oh, that's sexy looking. Yeah. That might... Don't buy this car. It's too sexy. <laughs> yeah. An RLX. Yeah, uh, no, an RLX does not look like that. This that, is an RLX. That is an RLX, yes. Which it has all-wheel steering. Which the concept car, that's what it's going to look like. Mm-hmm. It does have all-wheel steering. It's very nice to drive, but it, you know. Apparently got a 68, whatever that means. The Dodge Journey, which I, I could have told Dodge. you that one. It's an SUV. Look, the main thing is you have to remember what the definition of Dodge is. It means <laughs> to avoid. Why would you buy a car that is telling you <laughs> flat out, you need to avoid this? It's like ignoring when I get options? sick. Yeah, it's like when ignoring when you get signs of being <laughs> sick. It says Dodge. It means don't buy this. All we, right, go scroll down, see what they the Dodge they your journey. Have. Yeah, no, you should avoid the car. <laughs> it got a forty-five. <laughs> Look, see, <laughs> avoid, <laughs> avoid this one. It's probably deadly. Their too. next car is called Avoid It All. Poor costs. reliability. Yeah, mm. no way. Ford Fiesta. Ooh. Ooh. Oof. It's, that is a big old schnoz car right there. You know what? And they're also, they're, they're not making cars anymore. So maybe this is why. In the past, they had some not bad looking cars. Yeah. But let's see. What, this got a 44. 44? Mm. Probably not very. I mean, interesting. Yeah. Interesting back end there. 
you know. It decreased in value 30% over a year. Holy shit. Next up, we have a Nissan uh, Pathfinder. You want to avoid about, this. I was just talking about a mom mobile. They took the Pathfinder from a, a, a truck frame, which was uh -huh. an H frame, and they made it to this, which was uni, unibody frame, and they completely fucked it up with this. Here's the thing. You want a truck frame if you want hauling. And, and that's also, what it was for. A lot of people love the Pathfinder because they could take it anywhere. It was it's a truck probably, frame. It was this car is probably very safe because those unibody frames are very safe. Yeah, but you go to pick up Timmy at soccer, not go off mountain climbing with your buddy in the Rockies like people were with the other Pathfinders. That's why they have the Xterra. That's they why, like, Uncle Bud, he has an older Pathfinder. He doesn't uh -huh. have the newer I thought Pathfinder. he had the Xterra. Uh, he no, he has the Xterra, I think. He has uh, one of them. But it's still... Uh, H-frame. Let's see what That's score what they gave it, according to... Uh, oh, Forbes. I got this 53. Off a, 53. Wow, that's good. Does it have mention reliability? I don't see it. Meh. Uh, 28 Navigation after system. five years, 44... I don't know. Wow, 44% drop in price? Wow, that sucks. But that you is own a Pathfinder, path I'm very sorry for your loss. That <laughs> is, is a Pathfinder. If you want to buy a Path, that is what you want that for model, a Pathfinder. Not that model, not the one above. Not the one before. That is what people wanted, and that's not what they got. For it's the hauling and the all-around use of it. It's like wanting to watch Tom Holland's Spider-Man and getting Andrew Garfield. Okay. Next up, of course, you want to avoid. It's oh, the God. Jeep. What's the... Up a little the, so it's the read. Rubicon. Uh, no, the, the Jeep Wrangler, Wrangler JK. Yeah, it's, it's an extremely uncomfortable it's a Jeep. car. If, you, if you're a Jeep uh, person, you'll like it. I know someone who has a Jeep, and they have... They recently had some issues with their temperature You know what a Jeep is? It's this with wheels. That's what it is. It's a tin can with wheels. That's it was all created it for World War II to yeah. get people from one place to the other. Yeah, that's it. That's all it was. And In 1944, it was the best car around. It's people not, do an interesting things with them. It's not 1944 any longer. What did it get? What did Forbes give it? So low that oh. 26 out of 100. Ooh. Oh, I can't even say that. Poor Ooh. reliability grades from both CR and JD Power. That's a wump bum bum bum. Yeah. RIP. Ugh. For the company that touts himself as going anywhere. Yeah. Oh boy, Dodge Grand Caravan. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. they're not. A long... Yeah, they, they've been around for a very, very long Uncle time. Frank used to have the original one. It's yeah. probably worth something. Right? But it's... Probably uh, nothing. But not a... What did it get? Not a good van. No marks on reliability. No way. Wow, it comes with a four liter? Did they just stop rating them? Yeah, no. It, it got so low, they didn't even rate it. <laughs> they just stopped rating it. But it looks exactly we like do, a We do have concept. them... Them at work. Yeah, but it's a crazy mm -hmm. country. It's the same car. That's and why you just have a, a Xerox copy of it. So. Avoid it. The Acura ILX. Oh, no. The Acura ILX. That's that not is ILX. not an ILX. That once is, again, that's is sexy. They're like, look, just pick a picture of an Acura <laughs> and put it up. <laughs> Go down. Let's see if they have a picture of an ILX down here somewhere. Uh, what did it 150 get? horsepower. I mean, it's a zippy car. It's got a nice. It doesn't have a lot of technology, but it doesn't have a grade either. I so didn't give it a grade. It's not that bad. It's two point <laughs> so four four cylinder. That bad. bad. Say it right there. It's yeah. a little car. It doesn't look bad. A it's nice, a nice little color. car. It's a great car. It is mm. a great car. I don't ha see these ILXs really having a lot of problems. I don't have a lot of problems. You want a car that doesn't have a lot of problems? And stop the last it's an Acura. It's not, I mean... Stop by Westchester Acura. You can take uh, this list with a grain of salt. You know what okay. I mean? You can take it with a grain of salt. But it's... The ILX is, I don't think... I would say... I would Ooh. disrupt that. The Mitsubishi Mirage. Okay. Look at the picture they chose. Yeah, I, won't, I won't disrupt this one. That one, no. That we'll do it. In the, was it car. Mitsubishi two weeks ago where they cut the top of the head of the guy off? So we'll yeah. cut their heads off. The Mitsubishi Mirage, 74 whole horsepower, Ooh, three 43 cylinder. miles to three cylinder. Holy That's shit. Three cylinder. It's no numbers. Yeah, no. JD Power below average marks on performance. I mean, you're making 37 to 43 miles per gallon. It's got right? a three cylinder engine and you thought uh, it would perform. You're getting some decent miles per gallon out of that little Mirage. 40 not, miles a gallon. That's you're not getting gallon. laid, but you're definitely getting... <laughs> You're definitely getting miles <laughs> per gallon. Cadillac XTS. You want to avoid this one. 
Mm, yeah. Cadillacs are, are I, you know what? I like the way Cadillacs look. I okay. wouldn't buy one. No. Let's see if they have a uh, better view of the Cadillac. They usually have, what did it get? That's not a horrible looking car for a forty. No, it just it's very Cadillac. They, it's something uh, pop halfway up. Halfway through, it's, this it's something list. pop up B was like back this in list, the they day. They just gave up giving it a rating, and they were like, "Ah, fuck the ratings." But they're just shitting on a bunch of cars. I mean, Cadillac. It, it, mm. you know. They got their market. And then yeah. mostly did. Infinity, Infinity Q50. Q50. Is this one? That's not a Q50. That's not a Q50. We're looking for the pick. Okay, it's not important enough to even add. Hang on. This could uh, be it. Uh, hang on. It, it's a little bit... Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. MKS. There we go. There we go. We're getting up there. Oh, God. This is, this is, <laughs> this is a struggle bus. We're working stuff out, Bugs. Uh, there's a couple bugs and stuff in there. <laughs> Holy... 46% of its original value after three years. So by the time you're done paying for it. Yeah. There we go. You now threw your go. money away. There we go. So, it, I mean, it it, I, it looks nice, though. It looks nice. It's a nice looking front end. It's a nice looking car. But it doesn't I mean, retain its value. No. So. No, because it's a Nissan. It's a fancy Nissan. Yeah. That's all it is. MKS. Uh, yeah. That's the SUV looking thing for Link. And they have recalls on that. And it's going to kill you. Okay. I'm going. Or the MKZ. Okay. Well, it's going to kill you, and uh, it's not very good. According to... You, you can find this on Forbes.com if you're really interested in this. Non-turbo V6, three-cylinder. Yes. There we go. And it's very good. It's not... It, it's a Lincoln. It's right? all right. Just puts a for bad, a Lincoln. Put a bad taste in my mouth, though. Like, look at that. It looks like almost like a, it looks like it has eyelashes in the front. I mean, it looks like they're trying to go for a younger crowd. You remember those Lincoln commercials? I'm in the Lincoln, and they get in the old Lincoln. Yeah. That, that's you know. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Your name is associated. Give me a supercar. You know, they really. A they <sighs> adequately named this as the Armada because this thing is a fucking boat. The Nissan Armada, they say you should avoid. What did it get? 390 horsepower. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, V8. Maybe I get one cheap just in that thing, but... Eight seats. 8,500 pounds. It's, You're going to have to check yourself when you drive over bridges. It's a big car. <laughs> It's for eight thousand yeah. pound car. If you're looking at gas mileage, you're not looking. You at could car. fit that Ducati in this. Yeah, you're not. You're not <laughs> looking at this car if you're looking at yeah, gas mileage what? at all. They want us to take a survey, but no. we're not going to take a survey right now. We're doing a podcast. Smallest things in the universe: quirks, atoms, and the exit button for this fucking ad. Um, and then we go down to the Ford Focus. Ford Focus. Waiting with bated breath as it loads up, but the focus, uh, I think Ken Block has used the focus in yeah. his videos. Very, very popular car, but drifting. He's once again, rally. Meh. Not really my bag is the American car market, so 51% of its value. Uh, it's projected to return half of its value. Okay. So, I mean, very Means it's going to lose colors. 49% of its value. Fiat. Ford Fiat 500. Fix oh. it again. Ooh. Very I don't like the Fiat. No. No. I don't like anything about that car. No. In fact, you shouldn't buy it, and we're going to move on down to you the You should car. shun anybody that actually drives that car. Probably have a lot of... Co and uh, let's be honest. Remember they, to tip your tow truck drivers if you drive a Fiat. Uh, let's be honest. If they drive that car, they're probably a cunt. You know it. No, people buy Fiats because they're cute. And you that know what? That is not the cute. The Fiat because they think they're cute. I don't like the Mini either, but it's not my cup of tea. So they have something for everybody. It's a cute car. Oh, it's so adorable. Yeah. No. If you're gonna call it the Fiat 500, 30. it should have. 500 hertz. And then they go back to the scoring at the end. 30, 30 out of 100 points. Oh, that's Consumer Reports. Oh, okay. They don't always okay. care what Consumer Reports has to say. You know, I mean... We're Forbes. Who does? But it's very European-looking car. Yeah, yeah. 
It's when they tried to bring their uh, chrome in all the wrong places. Craft Fiat stuff. Nissan Titan getting rid of a lot of SUVs. The Titan. No, oh, this is car. this is that truck that yeah. when my car had the recall. The guy said, oh, it doesn't drive like a truck. You know what it drives like? It'll drive it like drives a like a yeah. truck because it's, it's a truck. Yeah. No, that one looks like truck. it has almost a full-size bed. Let's see if they have the uh, consumer Yeah, no, that is a full-size bed. That's a, uh, no, no consumer report ranking. But, I mean, if, yeah. as far as needs. If you're going to get a truck, insurance. you're probably going to get a Toyota. Well, no. Toyota's V8, overpriced. Five liter. Toyota's overpriced. You're probably mm-hmm. honestly going for a Chevy if you're going for a truck. At yeah. At least if you want it to drive. Yeah. Yeah, but the Titan, it's just, eh, it's Nissan. I'm not really sold with Nissan trucks. The Suburban. Chevy Suburban. We all know what that looks like. Yeah, I know a bunch of people that have Suburban. Oh, that's that big orange yeah. picture. Oh, Whoa, that's a Suburban. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a bright car. That's something. Oh. Yeah, that's something right there. They did some mm-hmm. custom work on that. Mm. Why don't we take that off the screen before we both go blind? Oh, God. Especially with the lighting in here. That's hey, just call out now because I'm going to find lost 32% in over a year or so. That's, That's the classic the suburban. suburban um, they no, have been around yeah. since like yeah. forever. Oh, yeah. They've been yeah. around since like 1917, I think. Around there. Let's go down. See what the next one is. Chrysler 200. I didn't know they even made this car. Yeah. I didn't know they were still making it. The introductory to the 300. The 300 was more their luxury line. The 200 was meant to be their small sedan. And it's, I mean, it's just, once again, it's Chrysler. It's Chrysler and Dodge. They're owned by Fiat. They're not very good. I don't like the hood. It's stupid. The whole car is stupid. If I'm being honest, I'm they not, did a lot of I'm advertising yeah. for the uh, Chrysler 300. Football yeah. players, yeah. basketball stars made a lot of money. 51 to 50. It's able to hold 41 percent of its value after three years. That's it not very 51 good. 51 to 53 percent reliability rating. So it's, half of the time it will start. Yeah, Chrysler. I'd like a car that starts every time. Smart for two. I've never heard of this. Never. It's a smart car. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at I the did a study. I, I did for my bachelor's thesis, I did a study on SUVs, and they had a crash showing a crash. Look it up. Suburban crash test with uh, a smart car. Oh, yeah. The Suburban crumples the thing beyond the driver's zone. Yeah. Just hitting half of it. Yeah. And so if you'd uh, like to die. If you want to be like. Uh, um, and you know what? There used to be a guy at work who drove one. Christopher Reeves. Drive it I was about to say Keanu Reeves. Yeah, Christopher, Christopher Reeves. Reeves. If you want to be like, like Christopher to... Reeves, drive a smart car. We'd all like to everyone to be like Keanu Reeves. Oh, Keanu Eight, Reeves. 89 doesn't... horsepower, full electric. Yeah. Yeah. 0. 0.9 liter engine. <laughs> Point nine. You don't want to make it too big. You don't want to make it too big. You can't actually put these cars is that up. Like, is that like this? Yeah. That's not even this big. You can't actually put these cars up on a normal... It's automotive. not even this big. The engine, it's not even that no. much. It, it's, you can't put these cars up on a normal automotive lift. You have to have a special thing because they're so fucking small. You can't get four post lift underneath of it. All right, so, let's move on. Yeah. Jeep Wrangler. A lot of Jeeps on here. A lot of Jeep, a lot you, of Ford. Yeah, do you see a, a pattern here? with? I haven't owned? seen one Ferrari. Anything owned by F- uh, Fiat? That looks exactly like the other one. Yeah. All right, let's 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 So if on. you have any kind of Jeep, Jeep. Right there, it's probably not. Apparently like Forbes you. and all these people don't like Jeep. No, they don't. 202 horsepower. Cherokee. Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> That's a good looking car, I think, for an SUV. Uh, Nah, it's a shit box. It no, do, 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 do. not inside of it. Just from me as an outside person to look at. Outside, I don't want to drive it. No, yeah. Uh, you, and you if would, you park it on the street, it's gonna be there for a long, long. You time. would be happy walking past it. Yeah. Okay. It's better looking than the Fiat. That's all I'm saying. That's not hard, but that I okay. <laughs> 
I'm happy with you. You're you're happy walking past that car. It's not the worst SUV oh. in the world. It's but, not. You know, it's know. not. Jeep Compass. Jeep Compass. Holy shit! These people got a thing for Jeep. They really do. They got a hard on for Jeep. <laughs> Just here. keep going. It's going to look like every other Jeep that there is. <laughs> it's it holds thirty six percent of its value after three years. Wow, that's not a lot. That's a sh yeah, I know, right? That's a shit box. That's what we call that. Ugh. Mm. So. It, it's the regular Fiat. another Fiat 500. Yeah, the 500 we don't need L. to wait for this picture to load. The 500 L and the Fiat four doors. It scored a 45 out of 100 on Consumer Report. I guess this one is an electric. Uh, God damn you, fucking internet! Thank you, Comcast. All right, slowly we go down the road on this journey of. Cars you don't want to buy. 32 of them. Mitsubishi yes. I-M-I-E-V. Holy shit. Good lord. Anime much? Holy. Whoa. It's a bright pink zip. It looks like they had a relation between like the Yaris and the smart car. People, don't leave your cars alone. Don't leave a Yaris and a smart car. They're going to think each other is hot and go after it. Don't leave so your Yaris with a smart car hmm. and an anime made, uh, maker because that's exactly what that's going to haunt like. your nightmares. Yeah. And it looks like something James May would buy. Yes. Only $6,000. I'm trying a different method. There we go. Kind of ugly. It looks ah. like it caught a horrible disease. Yeah. And they tried to save it. The car had necrotizing fasciitis. We shouldn't make fun of it. It had a problem. <laughs> it, we can't help. It, 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 it's a disease. It Let's not make fun of it and just move on to the Cadillac ATS. Because hey. we just have to make different letters in front of the same car that we're That's making. not a bad looking car. It looks exactly like every other Cadillac. Except that one has two doors. So it's like every other category. A response to the BMW 3 Series. It got a 57. It's some kind of a response. CR 50. There you go. It's some kind of a response. I That's think. Cadillac trying to get the interest of younger people. It's them doing the same thing and just hitting the erase button. Like, all right, we're just going to erase these. A lot of car doors. companies nowadays, you look at all those Jeeps, they all look the same. Yeah, we're Cadillac. just going to. They all look the same. Erase this part of the car and smush it, and all right, now we got two cars in yeah. one design. So, yeah, Jeep Compass. Everybody hates Retain it. Retain 27% of its value. Another Jeep, which we don't care about. <sighs> We're very close to getting to number one here. Yeah, you have to know what number one is. A Maserati. Maserati. Yeah. The Maserati Gilby. I'll wait for this one to load up. I can't wait for to see what this is in 27 minutes. Once again, thank you, Comcast. Um, What's a bad photo? Oh, God. It's like, they're, they're, they're doing all the internet things. They're taking it from yeah, the top. It almost it's looks, smiling. It looks He's trying like, to do lighting there. It looks like a fat chick trying to take a profile picture to where it's just taking a picture from a, a higher up view looking down so you can't see all the fat rolls. Okay. Not to get specific. It probably drives great. Not some Maserati. 17 mid-size field luxury cars. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Where's the written your Maserati dealer? I couldn't tell you. Oh, uh, it's actually out near Wayne. Huh. Figures. Ford Taurus. I mean, eh. My boss's boss's boss drives one of them. People who drive it seem rather happy, but it's probably a uh, 3.5 liter. Poor marks on reliability. That's why they don't want you to buy it. Wow. You can get one for $3,000. Oh, that's... That's, <laughs> that's not bad. That's Scion bad. IQ. Yeah. Scion IQ is a very, very small car, and it is. it was never... Oh! It was meant for two Asian adults and two Asian children. That's that's what the design... Probably like driving a go-kart. Yeah, no, that is a go car because it was made for two Asian adults in the front seat and then two Can you children. see that thing going over a speed bump? No. 
I see that not having enough clearance right there. Yeah. Let's, uh, it's when they got into the small cars. Like, oh, we can make small cars. <laughs> like, yeah. Clown cars were a thing for a long time. It that got a 49 to out of 100. And once again, another Fiat. Another Fiat, Fiat 500. Apparently, they were very popular. You can't fix it while. again. 160 time. horsepower. 184 pounds of torque. It's pretty powerful for a little... Uh, BMW, BMW 7 Series. series. Oh, wow, that's nice. kind of surprising. Yeah, that's disappointing. That that's one I kind of... You know what? It took me a long time before I liked the front end on the BMW. Have they got like that buck teeth look? Yeah. Yeah, they do. I drive a rich people car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, uh, yeah, the wagon. Yeah. The wagon. Yeah, that's a bad look. That's a bad look. Oh, well. Uh, the estate car. Oh, good Lord. This is well, in the audio version, you can cut out all this. Uh, oh, yeah, out. audio. This is going to sound great. But BMWs are usually nice cars. They're usually reliable, I'd like to think. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Lin Lincoln, MKT. MKT, was that on my uh, recall list? Oh, that's the MKZ. MKT, number two, the Lincoln MKT. That's how they get away with it, is the, the MK series. Oh, uh, another as SUV. As, yeah, as long that, as you, I think the entire Lincoln... Product line is on here. Let's see if they rate it in terms of did Lincoln pay the money to get their car not rated? Listed as rated. 3.7 liter V6. Okay. Okay. Essentially a Ford Flex. Yeah, okay. Well, they, didn't they eliminate the Ford Flex? Well, the Ford Flex is a tank of a car, too. That is a massive... That's what took out Troy's SDI. That was... Seven passengers in comfort and style. It has EcoBoost, which does absolutely nothing. No. With a turbocharger. And the number one car for the car you should avoid the most is... God, the suspense is killing me. This fucking internet is killing me as well. Uh, the Dodge Dart! Dodge Dart. I don't think I've ever seen a Dodge. Once Dart. again, I mention to avoid is the absolute definition of Dodge. So Dodge. While and we're Dart. waiting on this, there, we go. there you go. Yeah, I have seen them. They're they're not. It's a four bad. cylinder car. It's not anything impressive. They mm. added a turbo to their you know sport trim pack. I kind of like the way the front of it. Not in a way where I'd want to buy it, but no. I just kind of like the way it looks. Once again, I would walk past it in a parking lot. It would be, yeah, that's why I think I didn't see it. I, I'm like, I've never saw it, but I did. It was just completely forgettable. Yeah. On that bombshell. It got a 53. I believe that. I had a whole heart. Probably didn't retain that. a lot of value. All right. Well, but I liked uh, ending this off with a different kind of list and different kind of cars that you wanted to avoid. The Dodge Dart being that. Say the front of it. It's not hard. You know where to shoot because they give you a crosshair. You know what was a good Dodge? The Neon. Uh, the I Neon a Neon. wasn't a bad looking Dodge. I had a Neon. I it, got mad. I hit a hole in the center dash, and it was the perfect beer cozy for when you're sitting there parked and you don't. And you, you can set two beers right on either side of the AC vent. It's an odd thing to like about a car, but you like I the damage it, that yeah. your anger yeah. gave you. Yeah, it was very convenient. At that time. point, when you made that hole, you were quitting smoking, mm -hmm. and that's where the hole came from. Yes, it's but not Dodge. It's not a reflection on you. It it's was a reflection on tobacco. Yes, but it was also <laughs> very helpful afterwards. So that's the lesson of today. Yes, but. I so, also, don't get angry and punish your car. Yeah, you can also contact us. <laughs> this has been Lug Nuts.
Contact us at pjandwh.com. Yes, this sir. has been Pajangers and Wallhangers Media Network. Yes, sir. This is Lug Nuts. We mm -hmm. will see you tomorrow for the Triforce Podcast. Thank you. Three, two, one, and let's go, boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow, Monday, for the Triforce Podcast. And yeah. With uh, possibly a special guest. We will see if the we'll possible see. respawn of. Our Kelly happens. And maybe French Fry Man will bring Link some French fries. And then he'll be less grumpy. He's a very grumpy puppy, right? Now. Yeah. You're not murdering somebody in an international harvest cow. You could store one. raw meat in that cow. Oh, a whole hundred miles an hour. It kind of sounds like he's saying foxy lady. But that looks like I gotta go hop in the car and go grab some ice before the barbecue. This is the shit you don't want to buy no matter what. And it got so low, they didn't even rate it. <laughs> you have to remember what the definition of dodge is. It means <laughs> to <laughs> avoid. You would be happy walking past it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm over. Who's uh, watching? Uh, we had my buddy Ethan Cotter. Ethan was a uh, valet at my job, and he is a very good guy. He is one of the PC Master Race. Oh, and uh, oh, I can see we had Matt Kennedy in Teddy Schools. Okay. Bye. <laughs>